long interspersed nuclear elements and short interspersed nuclear elements which are also called as lines and signs non ltr elements are of two types first type is called as lines and the second type is called as signs lines and signs both are high copy number found in almost all the plant species they are also widespread in most of the eukaryotic genomes if we see that what is the structure of the lines lines possesses two orf which encodes all the functions which are required for the retro transposition what are the functions of the orf which are found in the lines the first function is reverse transcriptase and the second function is endonuclease activity in addition to a nucleic acid binding property needed to perform a ribonucleoprotein on the other hand if we see that what are signs signs they are short interspersed nuclear elements they usually use the machinery of the lines lines are of different subgroups there are different subgroups like l1 l2 l3 they are the subgroups of the lines human coding l1 begins with the utr region that can be 5 five, 5 five utr region that includes a rna promoter 2 two non overlapping open reading frames which are called as orf1 and orf2 and it ends with utr region so the human coding l1 line that consist of utr region and then in the middle there are orf1 and orf2 and at the end there is an other utr region so as there are two orf orf1 and orf2 orf1 encodes for the rna binding protein while orf2 encodes a protein having a activity of endonuclease in case of lines this is a typical diagram of the lines and the line consists of approximately 6 kb dna and we can see that there are two orf orf1 and orf2 and on both ends there are untranslated regions the 5 utr region of the lines that contain promoter sequences while the 3 utr region uh, contains a polyadenylation signal or a poly a tail in case of human genome there are approximately 500000 lines which are present throughout the genome of the humans on the other hand what are short interspersed nuclear elements they are approximately 300 base pair in size the most common signs they are called as alu and alu the signs in case of human genome they are approximately 11% up to 13% in human genome these are the typical diagrams of the lines and signs that what is difference between the lines and signs in case of lines we can see that here is 5 utr region here is 3 utr region and in the middle there are two orf orf1 and orf2 while on the other hand we can see that signs which are called as short interspersed nuclear elements there is middle portion for retro transposition the sequence of lines and signs look like simple genes short interspersed elements they are approximately 300 base pair in size that represent reverse transcript uh, transcribed rna molecules signs do not encode a functional reverse transcriptase protein and it relies on other mobile elements for the transposition in some cases they may have their own endonuclease that will allow them to cleave their way into the genome the most common signs in primates are called as alu sequences alu elements are approximately 300 base pair in size do not contain any coding sequence and can be recognized by restriction enzyme alu1 that is the reason because they are 
uh, identified. They are uh, recognized by ALU1 enzyme. So they are called as ALU sequences. So ALU sequences are the most common type of the signs. Signs make up up to 11 to 13 percent of human genome. So if we conclude that what are lines and what are signs, lines they are long interspersed nuclear elements. They are 6 to 7 kb in size while on the other hand signs they are short interspersed nuclear elements. They can be up to 300 base pair and the examples of signs the most common example of the sign is uh, ALU repeats which are approximately 350 base pair in size.